Afternoon everyone. Back down at Ash's again in the woodlands. So you're right, Ash, yeah, how you doing mate? Alright, yeah. Yeah. You just trekked in mate from over there. <laughs> so you got a larva up tonight. Yeah, yeah. What's that size? Size one. Small. Size one, yeah. Yeah, because only little. And then he's chucked it over the tree there. Yeah. Gives you 33% more room. Plus it not looped around the top, that's it. Yeah, a little okay. stone inside. No. No? no oh, just, just the thickness of the canvas, because it overlaps where it's two points put together. Yeah. You get a ball effect anyway. Mm. You put a stone in it or a ball of grass. Yeah. Or, or a um, peg. Yeah. You know, something like that. But I've just got it um, back around the uh, thickness of the canvas at the top. Oh, cool. Just picked it out and put it under tension on the crust. And then a little um, one slip knot there, just mm. coming through. Slip knot? Yeah. Didn't know you liked them. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I like all sorts of music. Right, tonight people, I've got the hot bivvy with the stove. And inside the bivvy, we have some goodies. Let's see if I can get in without breaking me back. It's quite busy in here at the minute. I'm just sorting out. So we're going to start off here. So I've got a nice warm waterproof jacket. My gloves for the stove. Oh, some Western Gold Whiskey. Five-year-old malt whiskey. My Riverkeeper hat. I've got my cleaver, my donker for splitting wood, so I'm going to donk some wood later, my knife, loads of coffees, drying bark, we've got the stove, we've got butter and sunflower oil, pan, we've got some nice fire lighters in here, the water ones, we've got my bivy slippers, a little saw, and over here we've got the goodies, so tonight we've got minted lamb chops, a pair of ciders, Sausages, two pack of, Pepsi Max to go with whiskey, Jaffa cakes, candles, and then right there, got my camera bag and my backpack tucked neatly down the back there. So yeah, that's my little tent. I'm going to go over and show you Steve's little tent. So I'm going over to the reservation now. You can hear the uh, Tuareg campfires burning. Oh, there he is, look. There's Iowa Whopper. Hello. And you're like broke from bottom. What, Eddie? Yeah, Eddie Hitler. Yeah, like. And we've got the Pomoli Hex Plus hot tent with his big stove in there. His winter well in there, his axe and his big bed. That'll be cosy in there tonight, mate, ain't you? Got his big chimney, chimney yeah. cricket, right the way up there, look. Lovely big oak behind us. Lovely yellow leaves. Yeah, it's going to be a cosy little night tonight. So yeah, Lavu, Fortress Bivy, and Pomoli Hex Plus. Some chairs, copious amounts of alcohol, food, drink and chocolate. Minted lamb chops. Yeah, minted lamb chops. Whoa. Lovely. All right, bring you back in a little while. It's beer time. Yeah. Yeah. How's it go? Yeah. <laughs> right, Chris has asked me to show you my belt order, which is 1944 pattern, British Army, working down in the woods, so pouch bottle in that I've got a Millbanks bag steering tabs water got a torch on the back as well let's put on torch although that normally goes inside a pocket when I'm not using it shoves in there and then a um, escape pouch which is actually made from a 1944 pattern large pack side pouch that's in there and that's got um, all my uh, utility bits and pieces in there fire making kit and then on here, I've got my um, cookery, multi-tool, down in the woods. So yeah, splitting logs, shaving things up, butchering things, whatever else. So that there, that slots back in there. Find the alt, in the dark. So yeah, that's in there. So yeah, uh, I could have gone for modern stuff, but I, I like the old retro kit as well. So, and some of this stuff is like gold dust nowadays as well. 
So yeah, I've got everything I need to get me going. In this pouch in the back. And uh, yeah, it just sits in my ankle hips quite nicely. Polish Lavo, sleeping bag, sleeping mat, Bergen, and a fleece blanket. And then I've got some rations which are um, state detective. The state detective, like state detective. And then down in my belly tin, in there, I've got uh, sardines and pasta and some Oreo biscuits. And then I'm just using my Kelly Kettle Firebase with a Trangia. And then I put my Kelly Kettle Hobo Stove on top. Billy tin, that's it. Bit of fuel, condiments, bits and bobs in there, and then I've got some DIY homemade ration packs. That's me for the week, for the next three days. So yeah, in a minute, I'll show you what's inside the bag of magic tricks. So yeah, utility belt, 1944 pattern. These here, I can actually put a um, yoke on it. Comes up off the back, over the shoulders, down the front, connects onto them. I don't need the ammo pouches. Okay, so I've got these. These are actually a bit more modern made, Canadian, believe it or not. But the rest of it is all 1944. So, water bottle, water, Inside there's a pouch. Inside the pouch, I keep Milbank's bag. Milbank's bag is for filtering water. Gets all the heavy sediments and nasties out. But basically, you soak that in water till it's wringing wet. Fill it up. Hang it up in a tree or somewhere. Once it's drained down to that line and it's dripping out there, you stick a container underneath and it drops out all the clean water. You still need to boil it or put stirring tabs in it, which I've got there. So I need to keep that one clean. Don't want that getting dirty. Always keep your kit clean. So stirring tabs can go in there. Um, that one cost me a tenner. I've got a couple of them, but I only keep one in here as an emergency backup. And I've got another one um, and a um, emergency kit because we live in the woods and we lose our power up here as well. So if I lose my gas, water, electric, which does happen a few times a year here. I need my own supplies. So yeah, um, 44 pot on, bottle in there. Nineteen forty-four pattern, large pack, side pouch, or as I call them, SAS escape pouches. That's what they're made out of. The original ones had a buckle. The next uh, version up came with a little twist clip. That's got a compass. It's just six when it wants to come out in there so I've got a tiny little short ass silver compass okay that just slides in there out the way first aid kit wipes plasters bits and bobs in there you all know what one of those is a good old trusty laplander one of those what else have I got paracord that's actually holding my lavu up at the moment because it's strung up over the tree. Little multi tool, okay. Fur making kit, sharpening stone. Normally, there's other bits and pieces. I've got a little head torch that's actually in my pocket now. And then in here, I've got a 44 pattern mug, metal. So everything all sits inside that. Okay, so that basically drinking out of it, brewing up and cooking in that as well. I'll be using that most of the weekend, all week. And, uh, oh, being British, must have a teaspoon, silver. There we go, can't go without a teaspoon. So How very blighty. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have my cookery. Um, it's not original one. It's traditionally made, it is made in the pool to order, and it is by all accounts the uh, based on the British Army Iraqi issue. Okay, but 
several companies make them and they come with different style of sheaves okay this one's the leather one you get some that are more suede and sandy color so yeah that's my cookery i use that for battening wood splitting logs multi-tool uh, really good spine on that really thick and solid so you can absolutely hammer that it ain't gonna break um, it's reasonably sharp i've used it a lot i'll put a little edge on it every now and again um, depends on what i'm using it for most of it it can be not dull not blunt but it, it doesn't need a razor sharp edge on it all the time if i'm doing finer work then yeah i'll put a sharper edge on it as i want to need it and that slots back in there get the angle right there we go and uh, that just dangles all off the belt so that's my basic kit and um fire making kit in here metal box tinder wood wall fire lighter steel for me flint when i'm knocking up flint little lighter box inside here i keep fire lighting paracord ferro rod it did have a handle but the handle won't fit so i took the handle off striker for the ferro rod emergency matches for emergencies only in here i've got um tinder cloth made out of 5.56 uh, rifle barrel flannelette in there spare lighter and some more material for making tinder and char cloth with in there so that's that's basically my, my kit to get me through normally i keep in there also is a pair of canvas gloves as well my little head torch goes in there as well um, sometimes i might throw in a, a couple of little sachets of coffee or hot chocolate or something as well um, and I can load it and unload it how I, how I want it when I'm, what, it depends on what I'm doing so yeah, so that's, that's basically it really right, whiskey <laughs> nice whiskey, western gold let's have a little taste in the old pot just a splash mmm Wow, wow, that's good. I'm definitely going to be drinking Coke with that. Oh, wow, it's got a hot aftertaste. Ooh, lovely. It's going to be warm tonight. Bring you back soon. Well, I made a quick cup of coffee. Fire base here, that is from my Kelly Kettle. I brought it out this week, don't need it. Well, I can use it, I just like changing things around. Um, this is the hobo stove base that goes on the Kelly Kettle fire base. Inside here I've got my Trangia and fueled in it is um, methylated spirits, the old mess, okay? And uh, we get this in B&Q home base, which is basically DIY stores in the UK, okay? Um, I was gonna do a quick cup of coffee, so I'm getting some uh, stripes off that. Not yet, it will go. I always have backup with me. By the way, these strikes that come with these ferro rods, rubbish. Honestly. There we go, that's lit, that's fine, that's good. Put that back in there. Alright. Yeah, that's on, that's hot. That'll flame up in a minute as it draws through. That goes on top there. Billy tin, old one comes with a lid it's all black guns but I do clean it up so it's not actually dirty in there I've got tuna and uh, not tuna sorry sardines and pasta munchies later all right I'm gonna get that on there water 1944 pattern bottle how much coffee do I want not a lot so I don't need to fill the whole lot up so basically I use my mug as a, mug as a measure it's got rivets on the back of the handles they're your measurements so I'm gonna fill this up to the lowest rivets like that, pour that in there, make sure nothing's in your lid, I see a lot of mistakes, lids going down that way, put on that way, don't want the gunk going in your brew, stick that on top, there we go, do your lid up, 
and you don't want to be knocking your water over everywhere and you don't want to creep your crawlies getting in there and you get too much protein munching on those do that one back up all right yeah that's burning that's good so that there in about five minutes will be a nice cup of coffee it's simple boil up the water splash your coffee in there put your water on top and then uh, always carry a teaspoon there we go what are you made, Steve? I made a little passageway to, into heaven. <laughs> <laughs> so you needed a doormat to welcome on it? Yeah, I need a little doormat there. Yeah. yeah. Little gate. Let's, te let's test it out. Look. Oh, this is a nice little path, isn't it? Oh, well, he's got a little flame going. Nice. Toasty in here. Got his beers, look, his jackery. Got his little lights. And his big bed. Cozy. Okay. Minted lamb. Whoa. Oh, that it smells stinks. fantastic. It smells really good. Mm. That's it. On that side for you. Look at that lamb. Minted oh. lamb. Piece. That's ashes. I've got mine over here. Cheers, buddy. Do you thought to that? Yeah. Five minutes on that, and I'm ready to be done. Right, making our way to Steve's tent. It's raining leaves. <laughs> My uh, lamb's cooking in there. Mm. Language to my feet. <laughs> oh, oh, it's toasty in it. Yeah. Cool, blimey. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh. Yeah. oh, he's got his steaks there. Yeah. I think there's steaks there. Yeah, two lamb leg steaks. That's it. Oh, you've got lamb leg steaks. Yeah. What you got there? Peppers as well. Mush onions. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've got Oh, lamb. it smells lovely in here. Spring onions. It's like Christmas time. Peppers. Ah. Peppers. You've got peppers. And uh, mushrooms. Oh, you got your bivvy mushroom. table out. Yeah, got one there. A table. One over here behind. He's got yeah, a it's living room table and that's a kitchen table. Yeah, I'm gonna start charging yeah. rent. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, it smells lovely. Oh, and also I forgot. In there. Oh, yeah. got your belly. Ooh. Oh, potatoes. Potatoes. Oh, got spuds on the go. Yeah. Got his little spuddings. Spuddings on the go. Nice one. Right. So yeah, and woods. Really nice evening actually. You've got a nice fire on the go over there. It's dropped down though. We have to stoke it up again. So yeah, there's a hot baby, the smoke is coming out, it's a nice night, some leaves everywhere, right, this is Steve's tent, this is Steve's big tent, right, it's cosy in there, so I'm going to go and eat my food and then I'm going to join the boys in there and take the whiskey with me, <laughs> wonderful, bring you back shortly. Well, it really smells of meat and ham in here. Oh, there we go, there's a reveal. Oh, look at that. A couple more minutes on that side. And I think that's done. You know, and a couple of Jaffa cakes for afterwards. And some whiskey. Lovely. And there's my lamb, lamb steaks. Just gonna go for a taste. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, mmm. 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 -mm. Amazing.
did also. About four quid. Mmm. Mm, amazing. Mm. Not mine, not yours. Why? Right, so I've had a really good night. Here's a couple of brandies, a couple of whiskies. Very nice. And I'll see you in the morning. Good night, everyone. Well, good morning everyone. It is 11 o'clock. I've been up half an hour. What a night. What a night. Really was a good night. And I'm just cooking up some sausages now and just waking up. But yeah, I had an amazing sleep. Got visited by badgers and foxes during the night. There was that side of the tents. Uh, something in the trees pissed all over. Uh, ashes lava. <laughs> it's everywhere on it. So yeah, he's had a right dive bombing raid during the night. So. Yeah, Steve was boiling hot as well, he had to throw his duvet off, so, yeah, very good night's sleep, and now I can smell sausages, back shortly. So people, while I'm cooking my sausages, I'd like to give out a few shout outs. So, um, rawarsenalhistory.com, so they've got their YouTube channel on there. It's all about Thames Mead and Woolwich, and about the Royal Arsenal for the 500 years of the history. You can see photos before, afterwards, what it's like now. There's videos on there and everything, loads and loads and loads of videos. So Steve Peterson and Ian Bull and all that sort of thing. They've done loads of research, got loads of pictures together and all that sort of thing. So yeah, really good, really good. So Royal Arsenal History um, on YouTube. Check them out, guys, please. Um, also, Dave Collier Camping. I left you out last time, mate. I'm very, very sorry. Also, Canadian Beaver. Left you out as well, mate. Horrible person, aren't I? So, uh, yeah. And another shout-out to JJ. So, JJ Outdoors. He's a really good little channel. Um, I like watching JJ, he does a lot with larvus and that, and he's doing up his little shed at the moment, so uh, yeah, I think he's doing a Sunday night shed night or something like that, so yeah, go and check him out please. Anyway, thanks for all the new subscribers, I'm going to get on with his, doing these sausages, because we've got a uh, liberation sauce and uh, rolls as well. If you want liberation sauce, go to thestatedetective.com, Steve, really nice guy, yet to meet him, hopefully going to meet him soon, go and do a camp with him, so yeah, liberation sauce. On them rolls with them sausages. Bang it. See you soon, people. I think the sausages are ready. Oh, yeah. They're ready, alright. Lovely. We're going to munch into these with some liberation sauce and rolls. Okay. Liberation sauce. State detective.
Yeah, it's a nice sunny morning. It's cold though, very cold. A lovely sunny morning. Oh, my back is killing me. I have to walk round and round and round until it releases. It's not the bed or anything. I felt a bit of chill on my back from last night and sitting around the campfire. It's painful. I'll get over it. <laughs> I've got you going like this. I'm right, going on a little adventure. My back's killing me, so I'm going for a walk. Here we have Chris trying to do his shoelaces up with a bad back. Yeah, I'm still practicing. Yeah, there we go. A oh, couple of times round. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's go and have a look down here. I keep seeing this little path just outside Ash's place. I've never been down here. There's two ways, there's an up and there's a long. We'll go along, see what we can find. See if there's anything interesting. Some field. Oh, sunshine. This looks good. Oh, lovely, isn't it? Very nice. Wow. Look at the houses. Old Dartford Bridge. Hey. Wow. Old crows. Fork in the road. Yeah. Cool. You can see for miles. Wonderful. Yeah. Right, well, we know where that path goes, so we're going to take the other path. Because that's a long walk and boring straight to the yeah, road. Yeah, it's just straight from the field. So it? we'll go to the other one. There's another path. So now. I'm going to try this path, see where that goes. Let's go and have a look, people. We've got the longest path in the world. Goes right away down for miles. I'm not gonna film it all. Let's have a little look. So I've been on this path for a good 10 minutes now. 
and it's still a big long path. It just keeps going and going and going. <laughs> so it's great. Getting near the end soon. Okay, might as well walk to the end and have a look, see what comes out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Steve's got himself some sticks for the fire. <laughs> And back up the long path again. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Little store of birch bark there for fire lighting. Yeah. Can't be a bit of freebie. That, uh, that log there right in front has got it hanging off that ready to go. Yeah, tear that off. Good that bit. Paper bark, yeah. That's paper bark. Yeah. Yeah. Leave that for the animals. <laughs> oh, got a nice big bit. That'll be jubbly. Must just took it. A bit, a bit of free fuel. Let's pull it down. Very nice. Very quiet. So we've got some dry wood. I'm now going back to ashes. Yeah, got a few bits of dead standing, very handy. Right, let's carry on, it'll be a time. So Ash is cooking his dinner, he's got pasta and fish. Fishy pasta. <laughs> oh, not for me mate. The only time I eat fish is a bag of chips around it or fish finger sandwich. <laughs> Alright people, had a good night in hot tents, but it's now freezing, it's all frost on top of the baby. So I'll see you in the morning. Good night John boys. Good night. Good night Bella Bob. Good night everyone. Beetle. Morning people. It's a very frosty morning out there today. Very, very frosty. So I'm making a nice cup of coffee. Got the stove going. It's a very, very cold night. But I was warm in here, but yeah, in the night the tent froze up. I'm going to work for a pit about four o'clock in the morning, everything's white out there. But we asked to film it's too cold. Alright, let's get on with some coffee then. So I've just done me hot porridge, that was nice. As you can see, we've got down to minuses during the night. It's probably still about minus three or four now. The pond's frozen over. I'll show you the pond. It's all frozen. 
little camping area. Frozen as well. Yeah, lovely spot this morning. It rained on by the tree still. But yeah, I managed to sort of be underneath the canopy a bit, so I had a bit of frost this morning. But Steve's water froze up, so he's had to melt his water on the stove to get a cup of tea on. <laughs> yeah. uh, Ash was a bit chilly, but he threw a blanket, a thick blanket over him, and he was all right during the night in his lava. Oh so yeah. Yeah. Got some stuff on the trail cam as well, so hopefully he'll put some videos up on his LinkedIn. So I'll watch out for those. Alright, so the rubbish in the bag. Yeah, very chilly morning. Alright, time to pack up shortly people. The worst bit. Packing up. Ate it. Bring you back shortly. Right people, that's another good camp. Three days, two nights. Still got frost all on the ground. Oh, he's throwing bread at me. Wee! Oh no. <laughs> Actually packing stuff away as well. Uh, and I've left no trace, bag of rubbish over there to go, everything's sorted. Right, see you all later people, thanks again Ash, see you soon. Right, guys, see you next time. Yep, see you again, Maybe and there goes the phone. Hey? Yeah? Eh? yeah, I reckon so, hammock cold. I want to do one more hammock before it gets warm. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> still getting mushroom in front of me. <laughs> you child. <laughs> I'm just a fun guy, mate. I'm just a fun guy. A fun guy to be with, yeah. <laughs> There's not mushroom left in that pot. Nah. Alright, see you later. Bye now. <laughs> <laughs>